Welcome to my series about all Chopin's music. Today we focus on Prelude number 10 from Opus 28 in C sharp minor. And immediately to start with the first question Is there any other piece written by Frederic Chopin um, which has some kind of similar idea uh, of two? contrasting themes put together. To make it easier for you, I can tell you that this was um, com being composed more or less at the same time when Chopin was polishing and finishing the preludes. To make it even more easier for you, I can tell you that this piece was written in the same key, C sharp minor. Scherzo. Scherzo number three in C sharp minor, the middle part of the scherzo. Maybe you remember, maybe you watched my analysis. Uh, I cordially invite you to watch if you if you haven't. In this analysis, I was telling uh, you and uh, analyzing the middle part when we have the chorale, and when I play just play for you this chorale. <laughs> And then this chorale is like interrupted by some birds, right? Or something like this. And fantastic music. And this idea of having two different themes separated um, is also here. So it's fascinating, and this prelude was probably written before, so maybe Chopin has a kind of training, he was already he already had some idea of doing this. Very, very similar. Because indeed, in this prelude, this prelude is extremely short. It has about 40 seconds, 30, 40 seconds short. It's the shortest when it comes to the time. And still, Chopin managed to put two different motifs, completely different, contrasting in everything that is possible. So this is a, a, a very short masterpiece of a high art. It's just like this fantastic painting that I show you here that I bought in Ecuador. Um, absolutely amazing music and of course because it's very very short so that it's not that popular but when people play more preludes um, then we can hear usually it's not played alone right because it's too short uh, even for an encore it's a little too short to tell you the truth but okay let's make an analysis now because I think it's quite interesting so as I said before uh, the idea of composer uh, who wrote this music is to put together two different worlds. Two different worlds are put together. The first is very fast, very light. For me it seems like some birds or even some insects that they are flying. But anyway, this is a very beautiful way of, of uh, writing for piano. But uh, how it is constructed? The left hand has a kind of like gu guitar-like accompaniment. Plum, 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 plum. Exactly like guitar, and it's always the same uh, throughout this motif. And the the right hand has something very interesting. You know, maybe you don't know, but the rhythm that Chopin writes here is 
not equal and not every pianist decides to respect that what Chopin wrote now I tell you what he wrote he wrote three plus two well every mathematician knows that three plus two is five but not in music because I explained to you when we have uh, this is like a metronome and when we have five even five even knows that we have one two three four five 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 ta 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 and many people play like this but Chopin consequently he writes three and two so is it you 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 may think I'm crazy but three plus two is also five no it's not five this time because i mean it is five notes but the rhythm is different because instead of one two three four five one two three four five one even three notes we have ta 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 three two ta 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 and there must be some reason for that another way because why because chopin uh, proved that he knew how to write the number five and how to write five even notes and make this five uh, over them so it means that he wanted if he wanted this he would have written this and so now the effort of the pianist should be to slow down every single group and another thing which is very interesting in the score which I show you because it's, it's quite interesting is that this 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 short this short groups are here. I mean, fast notes are here, and then he, you see this is six. But now we have three and two, three and two. But it's not important. What is important now is these accents here. Chopin writes on every note first. Every first note of the group, he writes an accent. So what does it mean? It means that he wants it not to be just a line, but to have this kind of points like stars in the sky at night like this and then the music is magic so I spent hours learning this because it's not so easy to play both to play three plus two and to play that accent So we have like signals, right? Very, very beautiful. How does it sound? And it, it, it is being repeated four times here. Now, middle part. <clears throat> the middle part, like a chorale, we can say. Well, it's a chorale from the scherzo. But here we have what we have. We have the contrast because it's much slower and we have chords. Here we didn't have chords. We have just a line. Here we have chords. And we have the dotted rhythm which makes this motif sounds a little bit like um, heroic. Uh, listen. I would say like battle like you know like this soldier like I don't know but anyway the dotted rhythm always makes this impression especially in Chopin's music and it's it opens with the question and the accent is on the last note which is very interesting there is accent on the last note it's like the composer who wrote was not musical we never make an accent on the last note but he wants. And why? Uh, well, actually, because this is connected not with this, but with what follows, with the next sentence, the next phrase of the chords. So I will now play for you only the chords, only this, uh, the second world, right? And we listen to it as a phrase. This is in 
interrupted, as I said, by this. So, I think it's a miracle. It's a fantastic music, fantastic idea. And it's extremely short. So now the question. When and where did Chopin compose this piece? Of course, in Mallorca. Absolutely, because as I said many times in this my series about preludes, Chopin had was under the pressure of time. So the shortest preludes, the better for him. He probably sketched this in one or two days, one or two or three days, like the, the previous one. And he had another checked and he was closer to finish the whole uh, the whole circle. But it's a very nice uh, musical idea. Let's listen again. This full of contrasts, um, beautiful little charming prelude. <laughs> That's the end. Thank you for watching and we see each other in my next video about prelude number 11. Bye bye!